Hi guys, Chamsel here, back with the next one. And this is number 13th in the set of 1 to 17. And this is Temporal Skin. Impressions first off when I put this on, I thought, wow, how amazing does that look? Just all those different tones, the different movement. Looks like it's a shiny metal stroke running water, stroke godly essence. It just looks absolutely fabulous, just that skin. And I like the aura, but if I'm honest, if the aura had that, those bubbles, if you want to call them that, if those bubbles had the same tone, and like that whitey, you know, shiny essence that's on the skin, if the bubbles that are coming off you were exactly the same white tone as that, it would enhance it even more, to be honest. The skin's good, I like the skin, the aura's okay, but even though it enhances it and does make it look okay, and it's a different tone to the skin, so the aura's a different tone to the skin, and it's got different colours in the aura than it has in the skin, because obviously the skin's got the, it looks like a silvery blue, um, I like liquid, a pastel stroke, uh, uh, baby blue, or fluorescent blue, whichever colour you want to go with. It's got all those in the skin when the aura's just got the dark blue. And then there's nothing really on the outside of the aura. It kind of finishes where it goes there. Um, so for me personally on this, I love the skin. But actually, I think the aura lets it down a little bit. If I'm honest, I really do think so. However, uh, the material and the chroma I think is absolutely awesome. I, me personally, out of all of these so far, and this is the only one I'm going to say this on, I definitely say that that hair there and the material that you get, I would say for me, is definitely on par with Glorious and what I would wear as Charmed as a godly gold essence or colour, I would put this on par with it, even though it's blue, it, it's just got that godly, forceful, super look to it, and I think it looks great, so I like the I like the skin, and I like the material and the chroma, I like the aura, but I think it slightly lets it down, it could be better, if I'm honest, so if we go down to the hair, Chroma. So we've got the temporal material there. Look, I mean, I thought that just looks brilliant. I like it kind of slightly does look like the Blue Phoenix, but I know the Blue Phoenix is bigger and the kind of flow is bigger and it's more of a different direction. Uh, and it looks like bigger movement in the aura as this is more subtly slow. Um, it's a, sur a surgeon, but this has got a little bit better, I think. Or it could be like blue liquid magma colour, but I like it nevertheless. Um, so the temporal uh, blue, uh, number one, I think that's more of a solid colour, but I still like the tone. I still like the tone of colour, but all these solid colours, I'm not really one for them unless you're having it in one set area rather than if you're going all over. I like a bit of movement and a bit of solid when you're wearing something. But uh, that for Chroma 2, I love that Chroma 2. That is awesome. Love it. So looking at Chroma 1, if we go down to, uh, on the legs and we'll just put something on there. And it doesn't really matter which one I put on because we're going to find out. So first we put the temporal material. I think that just looks brilliant. It kind of looks as well like, uh, was it the blue antimatter for the anniversary event? You get the blue and the red, um, that looks similar to it. Uh, it's kind of like a mix between the blue antimatter and um, blue phoenix. But obviously that flows a little bit different. It's slightly pulsating. It's got two different colour tones to it as well as the dark. Uh, and it's kind of flowing in and down as opposed to the antimatter and phoenix kind of flows outwards and away type thing. And it like looks like it's coming up and then outwards but i still think that's brilliant uh temple chroma obviously that's the first one i mean it'll be in certain areas i mean even though that's dark oh, <laughs> it just looks brilliant those highlighted areas that are moving as well as the dark area it's got that the darkness of that blue has just still got that 
uh, unusual um, super look to it it's brilliant and obviously that is just that is, to me is phenomenal I love that look that in number two I think it looks absolutely I would like to swear awesome it really does look awesome uh, so if we go down to look the tempora if we change one to three and let's see if we can get uh, let's see what that looks like so temporal three all right so going on to legs so we've got the temporal material that we've seen there that looks brilliant and then we've got the third one so that's like obviously in the top half of the waist knees then across the feet and the ankles as opposed to uh, number two obviously is more over and it's only certain areas like the knees ankles and parts of the waist that are solid the rest is moving and obviously one is a reverse of three either way i think that looks fabulous i really do like this skin like almost well i'd wear it it's simply i still like the aura um but as a, as a group together to wear the thing if you're going to wear the material the chroma the material uh and the aura and all the rest of it together and the skin uh i think the aura just slightly lets it down not much because it's diff it's a different tone color so it kind of works but i think just to make it look better because when you're looking at the skin it's flowing in and out at the same time that could have blended into the aura that's flowing out it i just thought it would have made it look better but nevertheless i don't like that it's good so um this one is the 13th one in the set of one to 17 and this is temporal skin see you in the next one